We now learn how to find the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment, and we're going to do so with some examples. Now the first example we see right here. We're given a line segment as well as the coordinates of its endpoints. Indeed, it has one endpoint P with coordinates 2, 3, as well as the endpoint Q with coordinates 5, 7. And what we need to find are the coordinates of its midpoint, which I'm circling right now. And in fact, I'll go ahead and call that midpoint capital M. Now, to find the coordinates of this midpoint M, the key thing to keep in mind is that since M is halfway between the points P and Q, its coordinates, both X and Y, will be halfway between the X and Y coordinates of P and Q. Here's what I mean. Let's start with the X coordinate of point M. To find the X coordinate of this midpoint, the key thing to keep in mind is that it has to be halfway between 2 and 5. Those are the X coordinates of its endpoints. And to get halfway between 2 and 5, we need to calculate the average of 2 and 5. That would be 2 plus 5 over 2. That's equal to 7 over 2, which equals to 3.5. And we're done. We now have the X coordinate of the midpoint. In a similar way, to find the Y coordinate of the midpoint, we need to keep in mind that it has to be halfway between 3 and 7. Those are the Y coordinates of the endpoints. So, to get halfway between 3 and 7, we calculate the average of 3 and 7. That's 3 plus 7 over 2, which equals to 10 over 2, which equals to 5. And we now have both the X and the Y coordinates of the midpoint. In other words, we can go ahead and state that M has coordinates 3.5 and 5. Now, one could argue that we didn't need to do all these calculations and that we could have read the coordinates of point M directly off the graph, which in this case is true. But the method we've just illustrated can be particularly useful if, say, we don't have a graph or even if the coordinates aren't nice round numbers. And in fact, the example we've just seen here illustrates a formula that we'll need to know. Let me start with an empty XY grid. And now, say we have a line segment, which I'll just draw a completely generic line segment like this. And it has endpoints P and Q. And let's say P has coordinates X1, Y1, and Q has coordinates X2, Y2. Now, to find the coordinates of the midpoint of this line segment, say that's this point right here, M, we can always use the following formula. M, the midpoint, has coordinates x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. Now, all this formula is actually saying is that the x-coordinate of the midpoint is the average of the x-coordinates of its two endpoints, x1 and x2. Similarly, the y-coordinate of the midpoint is the average of the y-coordinates of its two endpoints, y1 and y2. Now, do make a note of this formula, as we'll definitely need to know this. In fact, let me add a nice typed version of this formula, so that you're sure to write it down properly. There we go. Okay, now that we've seen the formula as well as an example, let's look at one quick second example in which we illustrate this formula once more. Here we're given an exercise. We're asked to find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment PQ with endpoints P with coordinates negative 2, negative 3, and Q with coordinates 4, 7. Well, although this isn't asked, I always like to make a quick sketch of the line segment that we're actually talking about. That gives me an idea of where the midpoint should roughly be. So let me start with a quick XY grid. There we go. And now let me add the points P and Q. So remember, point P has coordinates negative 2, negative 3. So that would be right here. That's my point P. And point Q has coordinates 4, 7. So that will be right here. That's point Q. And so what we're dealing with here is the line segment that I'm currently drawing now. There we go. And so we need to find the coordinates of its midpoint, which simply looking at this graph here, we can see should roughly be somewhere around here. Now, reminding ourselves of the formula for the midpoint, remember that was this formula right here. If we call the point x1, y1 point p and the point x2, y2 point q, 
then x1 would be negative 2, x2 would be 4, and y1 would be negative 3, and y2 would be 7. In other words, the coordinates of the midpoint m would be negative 2 plus 4 over 2, and negative 3 plus 7 over 2. That leads us to m has coordinates negative 2 plus 4, which is 2 over 2, and negative 3 plus 7, which is 4 over 2. Finally, simplifying these fractions, we can state that the midpoint m has coordinates 1 and 2. And we're done. Those are the coordinates of the midpoint m. And looking at the diagram we have here, we can see that that seems pretty much spot on. Indeed, that's the midpoint we had sketched earlier on. So we can add that to our graph. m has coordinates 1 and 2. And there we have it. That's how to find the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment. And that's it for this tutorial.